My name is Julie Papanek, and I currently work at a life science and tech venture capital fund called Canaan Partners. And before working at Canaan Partners, I attended Stanford, where I participated in the biodesign program in 2012. And before coming to Stanford, I worked at Genentech for about six years. And for half of that time, I worked in new product marketing and also worked on a launch for a cancer product. So in the early part of the biodesign process, it's always difficult to choose which need to go after. And having an idea of which opportunity is larger and where there's a bigger unmet medical need might be a tipping point in your decision-making process when you're trying to pick between one and another. Starting a market assessment can seem intimidating and confusing. So hopefully it'll be helpful to provide one example of how you could go about the assessment. There are a lot of ways to size a market and see whether or not there'll be demand for your product. The way I'm gonna go through it is just one way to think about it. So four key exercises when I think about getting started with a market assessment has to do with a stakeholder analysis, which is fundamentally about who is the customer. The gap analysis, which is what's the current practice and the unmet need. Market segmentation, where are the relevant differences in products and customers? And then finally, the market size analysis. So generally, how big is this market? Is it worthwhile? So we'll go through each, four, each of these four different steps. So the need we're going to talk about today is an example of how to do a market assessment. It has to do with how one can safely access and collect tissue sample in lung cancer patients in order to inform a clinical decision. And the reason I learned about this was at my job at Genentech, we learned that oncologists want that kind of information to make genomic decisions for which drug to pick, but sometimes they can't get tissue. And so that seemed like a really big opportunity to help patients.